either Osimhen is an idiot or his team all need to be fired, his agent included, and they all need to be prosecuted because what they've done is criminal. So this is what happened to Victor Osimhen. Where most of now where they're in social media lifestyle, they talk the one way I know, no, they talk the one way I know. Most of now be football analysis for Nigeria, eco criticism. Now go sit down for Nashia, some of them go stand up now, carry my girl, begin the yabu, begin the talk with I don't know. If Victor Osime, no be black player, say now one European player, the two way sop with him, say he go sop. No, come on, sock, I don't sock, come on, sock, I don't shell, let it say, Eh? Okay, uh, club where Napoli, you tell them say they want, okay, they want to sell them to one kind of club like that. Those ones how they negotiate. At the end of the day, they increase their price. They increase their price. Those ones first go sign another person. Chelsea come. What they go Chelsea go be a boy scout club. <laughs> because the people want to start expecting. They talk. The one we don't know so we talk. Hey. No, any corner nobody you buy anybody Jerry. Because enough of Osime this, Osime that, why should Osime be this one, why should Osime be that one? But nobody in my mouth to go hear some of the analysis because I bring that two analysis for now where I go like me in a year for the social media lifestyle. I beg when I the year, I mean a year I well. I mean I see what it happen. And some people they talk to me to be Osime is pride. Hey, pride won't kill him. He's pompous. He's arrogant. Kill all day. Except, your fellow black person, you like making the squeeze in there because they're having the squeeze in there. Don't you know that something is fishing? Abi? Go and watch this video, the first one. When you come back, I go knock you the second one, join two. Make it the year analysis from, 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 from people who are Sabi. I can't believe this is what Chelsea have done. Because if, 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 if Chelsea's owners have stepped in and they've tried to negotiate that on deadline day, after speaking to Osimhen for a year, we come to this window and we spend the entire window and we compete with Saudi and then they step out of the way and take over Ivan Tony and we give them, we give Osimhen and his team a final offer of 68 grand a week. I'm sorry, you all deserve to leave, not just Chelsea, but the sport of football. You don't belong in football. I can't believe this is what's happened. Surely not. This is... I know our owners and whatnot have been stupid, yeah, but you can't be this dumb. Like this is this is this is this is insultingly low, insultingly low. It's beyond embarrassing. You can you imagine turning to Victor Osimhen and going sixty-eight grand a week? Come on, come on. Give us the give us the information from your end of what was what was offered. I want to know what was offered. Because let's be honest, this deal breaking down, everyone loses. Napoli have lost, Chelsea have lost, Osimhen's lost. Everyone has lost. This is a lose, lose, lose situation. Why did it have to come to this? Now, if Chelsea have offered 68 grand a week to him, I've got no problem with Osimhen saying no. But if Chelsea have offered something decent, like it was rumoured before all of this happened, that Chelsea have actually put something decent on the table, then either Osimhen is an idiot, or his team all need to be fired, his agent included, and they all need to be prosecuted, because what they've done is criminal. If they've put Osimhen in this situation, we're going to be paying half of Sterling's salary to send him to Arsenal, to go and help them compete for the title. Do you understand how embarrassing that could be for us if Arsenal were to win the league? For us, they, they would look at us and laugh. Thank you for sending us Sterling, who has helped us win the title, by the way, and you've paid half his salary. Brilliant, thanks. We'd look like clowns. We would look like clowns. This may, I have no problem him going to Arsenal if they pay the whole salary. No problem. Right? Because Sterling had to leave one way or another. But to be in a situation where he's had to leave one way or another, and then we still pay either half or over half his salary because we decided to shun Sterling out of the first team because we thought we were being smart and clubs would come in and we can get rid of him that way. We're idiots. No, Sam. Because me, I don't know why some people go come out the social media lifestyle. Come they talk the jabba with the jabba jabba. Hey, you must go to Chelsea. If you don't sign to Chelsea, now, now. That means you're kidding, 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 kidding. Eh? No, Vito Simeon Wakere, African Footballer of the Year. 
Ho wa kere abi. A small abi. Abi the time when Napoli, when he enter Napoli, no be Napoli come begin to shy. I'm going to check history. Forget saying na this thing. Ah ah. Abi, me I carry go far. We will go hear the other updates. And when you come back, man, knock you the other stories with the year. Fascinating situation that's uh, happening right now in Italy. You may remember on Friday night uh, there were reports that Victor Osman uh, could be moving away from Napoli. Antonio Conte saying since Romelu Lukaku has arrived, I don't actually know what to do with Victor Osman. Now you may also remember we've told you that the Saudi uh, deadline finishes tonight at 10 o'clock. There was plenty of interest from Al Hali and also Chelsea. But now Sky Italy are reporting that Napoli have given the green light for Victor Osman's loan move to Galatasaray. It'll be until the end of the season. Now, uh, remarkably as well, the Turkish window closes on the 13th of September, so they've got time to get this sorted. Now, they do have an injury up front as well to Mario Icardi, but it's thought that they like... Akadi and Osman to play up front for them together. So it could be that uh, Victor Osman plies his trade uh, in the Turkish lead league this season, but certainly it won't be with Napoli. We'll keep you across that story. As Sharp update on Victor Osman because what the guy feared the most now has now come upon him. Right from the beginning of the transfer window, Victor Osman and Oga Kalenda will be in agents. Has made it clear that they are not going on any form of loan. In fact, it got to a point in time that Victor Osimhen rejected loan with obligation to buy from Chelsea. But as things stand now, ladies and gentlemen, it's now looking like Victor Osimhen will be going on loan to Galatasaray for one year, as the matter be now, if the guy wants to play ball. An agreement has been reached between Galatasaray and Napoli. Now, we are waiting for the side of Victor Osimhen. As things stand now, I believe he is going to be playing at Galatasaray. For the next one year, Turkish league is not completely bad. It's not really bad. I know that a lot of people have told Victor Osimhen so much, but it's just time to just forget about it. Let us just support our man and move on with it. Victor Osimhen is going to be playing in Galatasaray in the next one year. And let's hope that by this time next summer, Victor Osimhen's matter will not be as this one look. Ladies and gentlemen, rate Victor Osimhen's move to Galatasaray on a scale of 1 to 10. Osimhen will be playing alongside Ikadi and Michu Bashwai. It's not really bad. It's not bad. Hmm. Tell them, who. Tell them. Tell them. We know say no, I know how the thing will definitely want affect and kind of because hmm, he play and no play, they know you to use them for match. But I want to know, make we see where Napoli they go now. No, we understand. We know they against them. No, make we see where they will play. I'll be without the Osime and Co. Because we will believe in Osime. Me, I dare Osime back. Can't we? Any move where he take, he get reason why he take him. Okay, they don't lose, they don't lose. Ah ah. Even our our so called see our gun, see Ronaldo, Cristiano. Oh my, it's all bad. You be too bad. Then you want to crawl in the league, then play all the league where they play. Where where they collect now? Ni, how about they collect plenty? I go to fire. Call it tell me to say no no. Osimhen to Galatasaray. I need to go. With him, the deal is done and uh, is a most important transfer for all Turkish people in the history of football and nothing. Te secure derima.